Welcome back to Breakfast. Another piece of research has found New Zealand business is lagging the rest of the world. This time it's in M&A or mergers and acquisitions, meaning we aren't getting out there and buying our competitors or finding comparable companies to join up with. The report comes from Grant Thornton and Martin Gray, its head of legal advisory, joins us now to explain. Good morning to you. Hi, indeed. So what is our position compared to the rest of the world in this respect? Well, our survey has, uh, our global survey has found that we are on a par with the rest of the world as far as domestic acquisitions are concerned, but lag behind from a, uh, an intention to acquire businesses offshore. What's the problem with that? Are we just perhaps growing to a certain point and being happy with our lot, or what? Well, I, I think in part, but um, there's, a, there's a far bigger part of the value chain to be, to be had, and our demand for our services and goods internationally, our reputation and our relationships with key markets has never been better. And we need to take advantage of, of that. What could be some of the reasons for it, though? I know a lot of companies, when they're growing, cite access to cash as one of the reasons that is restricting their growth. Is that part of it? Uh, th that is part of it, but I think there's also a cost in setting up your businesses internationally. And also acquisitions are an enabler to, to get that better, better market share internationally and speed to market as well. Are businesses not perhaps just going about it a different way and, and growing their own business rather than perhaps taking over others? Yeah, a focus on domestic uh, businesses but also maybe building uh, relationships and, and distribution channels in, in, in foreign markets rather than taking full ownership of that whole value chain. And I think rather than complaining about why international businesses can come and pay a higher price for our businesses here in New Zealand, we should be maybe be thinking about why that is and why they are able to afford to pay more and maybe that's because they get a very large margin in their own countries. So if we don't go overseas and take these kind of opportunities and grow our margins then others will come here and do the same to us? Well I think that's already <laughs> happening and, and, and so we've got to reverse that and I think uh, you know right now New Zealand is so well positioned from demand for its goods and services we underestimate our opportunity internationally and also our, our relationships that will ena enable us to gra gra gain a better market share or, and a better part of that value chain. How do we change it then? Is, is part of it attitude? Is it having the guts to go out there and take the risk or is there something else that's holding us back? Uh, I, I think New Zealanders naturally do travel very well and, and are very well received internationally and, and so you know for China for example um, we are very well regarded and, and so we need to utilise those contacts and relationships that we have to make sure that we position our businesses well internationally. Well, thank you very much for your time. That is Martin Gray from Grant Thornton on that latest piece of research about how often we are getting out in the world and taking over other companies in order to grow our businesses internationally. Corinna Petra. Thank you very much, Nadine. Now, coming up in the next half an hour, we'll be talking Mother's Day.